So I feel like spiritual warfare is at its most most time high when things is about to break through for you. When things when all things great is about to happen in your life. Um, you know, dark forces will try to discourage you. They will try to she you it will try to um, you know, taint your mind with, with doubts and um self sabotaging thoughts and thoughts of you not just like nothing is happening for you what is happening and like why is it happening all these thoughts starts to run through your head in the midst of greatness when greatness is happening behind the scenes and and the, the enemy knows that something great is about to happen in your life that's where all of those thoughts starts and the reason why i say that's because i feel like something is about to break through in the most positive way and little did I know the just the other day I had to stay the night in jail I had to stay the night in jail because I did not know that I had a warrant out for my arrest for a ticket that I paid for but I didn't show up to court because I thought in my head if I paid for the ticket they would drop it and I didn't have to show so this is from April and yet the, just the other day I stayed a night in jail and all type of thoughts was running through my head I'm like you know what and mind you I did not go through anxiety in such a long time I had I haven't been through anxiety in such a long time and when I went when I was in the holding the holding station man listen my my head started feeling woozy I started to feel like anxiety was rushing up on me all over again and I'm like you know what no instantly I started praying I started calling on God I started saying no weapon formed against me shall prosper like any energy that is sent towards me any negative energy sent towards me or my destiny shall be sent back to sender and I said God please cover me breathe on me um, protect me be my shield be my fortress you are my fortress you live within me I shall not be be punished <laughs> so you know like I'm saying all these things and you know I, I had to continuously say this because I was there from a.m. to a.m. like I was there from 10 30 a.m. in the morning all the way to 2 30 p.m. They, they didn't release me until 2 30 p.m. And I'm like, God, please, like, what is happening? God, please, like, I trust you. I, I believe in you. I trust you. I know you. Like, let's go. Like, I know I'm getting out, but God, like, don't, please, this is not going to happen again. <laughs> right before I got arrested, I was three minutes away from a client's, a client's house. I do hair. I had, I had two heads that day. And, you know, I was supposed to make a lot of money that day. Right before me... Cause I have, I have, I have plans. I always plan out things, you know. I plan, and you know, um, the my because of the holidays, my my, the, my 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 bookings was is full, and you know, it's gonna look pretty. You know, my you know my bank account gonna look pretty after this. You know, I had plans. I I made plans, and so on the way to my client's home to do her hair, I got stopped three minutes before, and they just took me whole day gone lost a lot of money and you know um it didn't really phase me you know uh, I, I i know god you know god would always redirect things so that better things could happen so you know it didn't really phase me like that because the strength in me the courage in me that god gave me nothing phases me because i know god got me god is always with me he would never leave me nor forsake me and you know i felt like the enemy was attacking me in areas where it was once once a week like my, my anxiety was weak to me one at one point and when well, sometimes when i go through anxiety i go through a small a, a bit a bit of a, a depression but the pressure didn't hit it was only the the little bit of anxiety that was coming up on me slowly but i prayed that against me and you know i have never been arrested a day in my life nor do i do anything to get arrested like anybody who knows me don't like they know that i'm like such a peaceful person i'm very private I like to stay to myself be to myself and even if i am with people I, i'm still not doing anything illegal for me to for me to like you know go to jail and when i get tickets i make sure i pay those tickets like i always take care of those because i don't play about that i need my car you know so it's like 
like what is I, when I when I first went in there or when, when they was handcuffing me I was like whoa never been handcuffed ever in my life they put my handcuffs so tight they took forever to get me to the TGK um, station like my hands was like this for a freaking hour like and my, this right here was like so in pain when I got there it was so disgusting pee was everywhere in the bathroom everything was dirty Oh my gosh, I, I slept in there, the, the freaking cell with a thin behind bed. It gave me two sheets, one for the bed and one to cover up. And those sheets was very, very thin. I feel like they treat people like animals in there. Like, it's like animals stink. It's, it's just disgusting. People sick, coughing, sneezing, and throwing up. People was, you know, some of them was, you know, kind of crazy a little bit. It, it was crazy. It wasn't a place for me and I will never be there again jail is not a place to be not even for a little bit i was there for a couple hours i feel bad for people who be there for days and months like who would want to be in that place i felt trapped i felt enclosed like it was such a horrible feeling and i thank god i thank god that i have people on the outside that bond that, that that was able to bond me out that same day because I would have I would have had I would have had to be there for more hours, like even though I was you know released in the middle of the freaking night, man, it, it was really hard for me. Like my thought process was a little confused. Like I even meditated in a I was meditating in the holding room. I don't know how how people was looking at me. I didn't even care. Listen, I'm I'm sitting in the spirit of God. I'm sitting in the spirit of God, and I ain't ashamed of being in that space, especially when to at times like that, I'm finna do what I have to do. And you know, like, even though it was for a ticket, you know, a miss court type thing, that that's, that was huge to me. I never been in jail. <laughs> never have I ever even been in handcuffs so you know I, I thank God you know anything you go through just go just pray to God and, and pray pray it against you while you in the mess